Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough. I smell cabbages. Um, here. I okay, these kids are playing a game. The they're, they're annoying. Um, Go, but, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Original Sin 2, we are uh, on Reaper's Coast in the town of uh, whatever it's called. We've been running around trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, there's the fish market, or the fish maker. Uh, this guy's got some sort of a dastardly quest going on where he's selling things to another location. Uh, we were recruited to be uh, hunting a, a cloaked figure who they think is killing magisters. Except we found him, and he's hiding up here, and he has nothing to do with it. So we got to find a way to get him to safety. I don't know what that is yet. Um, we have a quest or two related to going to talk to people in the tavern, which we have not yet done. So that's something to do. <coughs> oh, the Meister's house. We haven't been to the Meister yet either. That's uh, got to be a quest point. So we are going to uh, continue on our journey, I guess. A lot of exploration right now. Kind of always happens when you get to a new area and you don't know what you're up against. Oh. Why is that auto saving me? Shadow over Driftwood. Glenna Graham. The dwarf Sleeping. is unnaturally still. <clears throat> you might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? Uh, cobwebs, I reckon. Maybe some spiders and silverfish, rats. Nothing you want, unless you collect cobwebs, I guess. Hmm. Wine all you want. I'm staying and success impossible and that's that before you can ask more the dwarf holds up her hand hmm okay I'm thinking it's gonna be a quest point to try and get down there a stove huh um we have a lot of fish now we need a fire for the dough. Oh, I think now is not the time to do this. I'll do it between episodes now that I know where it's at. Savants of the Stone Garden. Well, with them being red, she probably is going to be upset with us. Let's see. Oh, she's not looking. Elven Club. There's actually uh No, it's not a very strong weapon, is it? One handed mace. But we'd have to steal it. <coughs> mm, don't know if I want it that badly. What's on the shelf up here? See this is worth stealing. 
There's somebody somewhere who keeps saying they're missing something. I don't know if it's a quest thing or somebody I've actually stolen from. <laughs> uh, I would like to read that book if it's important. Something about uh, traps that turn people to stone. Okay, so it may be that um, that there's a quest that'll get us down into that hatch. What's even the point? Is the voice coming from over here? Who's the guy that says he lost something? All this damn work and nothing to show for it. Might as well have rotted in the death fog. What's even the point? Rotted in the death fog. Oh, cat. Oh, pox is the name of this the critter. The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone. But I'd gladly lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. Um. But I need them. So yummy. They taste like shadows and spoiled cream. And turn hmm. the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur. Like being caressed by black cotton. The cat eats the fish in a few seconds' time, then looks up at you and gives a groggy meow. Maybe. I should stick to the good stuff for a while. But I'll miss the shadow. He pokes his nose at your map, leaving a wet spot. I think you'll find... Something interesting there. Found me some goodies during life number six. Now, if you don't mind, I need a bit of me time. Points his nose at my map. See, every time they do something like this, it's, um... I swear I'm not finding the damn things on the map. I don't know what I'm looking for, you know? Quest markers... Secrets. It's like, uh. So I don't know what the spot is that he's, uh, trying to show me, but. <clears throat> the last time we looked for the one for the chicken lady, we weren't finding it either. Alright, move on. Should have stayed as you fun. Chickens. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, I'm not gonna ask her for her kids. To list. I've got eggs to lay, grass to tidy, grain to clear, and majesty. Well, ain't you a tall drink of tallness? What can I do? Tall for drink you, of tallness. Honey? Why would she be willing to give me eggs? She fluffs them and coos. You're so very, very sweet to notice, honey. Ain't easy keeping him so nice in a dusty town like this. But I do take pride in him. Sure, why not? Not all of them hatch, you know. And between you and me, honey, I don't <laughs> mind the taste of an omelette now and again. Go on and scoot then, honey. I've spotted something. Okie dokie. Small shallow grave, that can't be good. A cat skeleton. Bok, bok, bok. Nail. 
tunnels. Nails in the right location give us access to more lockpicks. <clears throat> you can hammer them down into lockpicks, so that's good news. So, oh, chest over here. My battery's low on my controller. <clears throat> um, where is my... Where's my cord? There's my cord. That's what's the matter. She's in the bathroom and not well. Occupied! Oh! Unholy <laughs> hells! Do I... Oh, do I sound like I'm alright? I can only imagine the voice actor sitting in a, in a room somewhere. Either talking into a tin can or they got him in a closet or something. Tainted stew. Thank goodness for that. Oh. I'll stay out of there, thanks. Divine Order Proclamation. Her munificence, Dallas the Hammer, scourge of the Void Woken, and savior of the sorcerers, upon the advice of her most sage counsel. In her capacity as the titular head of our beloved Lucian's divine order, hereby layeth bounty upon the fell sorcerer murderers of Alexander, Ooh, Bishop that's us. Divine. She or he or it who slayeth said sorcerers or other sorcerers with malice or without may count upon the hammer's most benign and just benevolence. The deaths of the evil ones shall be rewarded in this life and the next. Hail to the hammer, seven times blessed. Well then, they sure do talk pretty. Oh, conversation time. The poster <coughs> flutters lightly in the breeze. We slipped our island without too much of a to-do. The divine order isn't as all-powerful as it likes to think. It proved to be child's play to outwit her. No doubt it'll be child's play to cut her down. Slipped her noose and fought joy. I'm not too worried about slipping it again. Looks like we're on the wanted list. I feel so special. <laughs> Feeling special. Okay. This looks like the inn. Let's get in here and see what there is to see. Connie? She nods an uninterested greeting. Here for the fight. Hold on one second, what do you got to trade? True brew for bluegill. Um, buy that from her. I might have already read it though. This is a tavern. People are drinking. Eventually there'll be a fight. You planning on starting one? Well, I look forward to beating the shite out of you then. Bye now. Till later. He fixes you with a stare, looks you up and down, weighs you up, the cut of your cloth, the weight of your bag. A moment passes. Then a smile creases his face, a smile carefully constructed to look friendly and authentic, a smile that doesn't reach his eyes. Yeah, the barkeep. That's typical. Greetings, stranger. 
Looking to ease the pain of a decaying world? You're in the right place. Beers are ordered at the bar, but can I interest you in a nourishing bowl of stew? He purses his lips. His fingers drum a pattern on his elbow as he assesses you. I would say that intelligence is not JPEG's strong suit. He has lots of finesse and memories. Let's go for finesse. Nope. See, I don't even understand how these work. Finesse is my highest point, but it's not like I... I don't know. I'm sorry. I mistook you for a different kind of person. My mistake. I shall return to serve a meal the customers, and I wish you a good, if boring, appetite. I'm sorry. It's not about the money. Really? You insult me now. This is about fellowship. About a shared world view amongst devotees of strange and exhilarating experiences. Money is irrelevant. No, the right amount of money is irrelevant. A smile spreads across his face. He holds out his hand. Now we're speaking the same language. So... Let me ask you this. Across the world, who is, <laughs> is this what I'm buying into? <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> uh I have no idea how to answer this. So, um, they say that, uh, no better lovers than lizards. Dwarves make the best lovers. Elves are accommodatingly flexible. Humans are by far the greatest lovers, or despite the cold, the dead can be exceedingly hot. <laughs> um, I have no idea how to answer this. Uh, JPEG would probably... Yeah, well, let's go here. I'm sure that in your own case, that sentiment is almost true. But no, let me tell you the truth of the matter, my friend. The very best lovers are, whisper it, lizards. And for a barely significant sum of gold, I can introduce you to the greatest lizard lover the world has ever seen. The price, I'm afraid, is not negotiable. Hmm. And believe me, this really is one exceptional kin lover. You sure you wouldn't care to change your mind? We don't have anything else to discuss, so if you look. All right, yeah, I'm not. I'm not buying a a, a, a whore right now. Prudence. A prim woman in a starched apron wipes a glass. <laughs> She's prim. After she the guy was trying to whore somebody out. Sharp eyes as you approach the bar. Blessings upon our Lucian, seven times divine. Her eyes soften and crinkle as she smiles. I see your mother raised you very well indeed. Well, good. I didn't insult her. Hello. Nice to see an unfamiliar face. What brings you to Driftwood, darling? Her Niles. Oh, Niles was the, um, he was a torturer. <clears throat> Did you know him? Finest physician in all of Reaper's Coast. Top of his class. My, but it's been too long since I've seen him. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep on her good side. I got nothing to nothing to gain by insulting her dead son that I murdered. A fine physician indeed. That's my boy. Some say all a growing child needs is food and sunshine. I say abstinence and chastity will grow him finer than either one of those. Oh, wow, I don't agree with you, Prudence. Oh, but it's so good to meet a friend of Niles. Here, have a little something to eat. Niles' favorite, you know. No one in our little town can appreciate work so fine as his, you know. All his instruments and books are stored away upstairs, all but forgotten. It's such a terrible waste. Wits, intelligence, constitution... Um, for JPEG. 
Wits of 16, Constitution of 14. Yeah. But we don't have... No, not combat, civil. One, somebody has a... Um, persuasion. Yeah, it looks like it's just the uh, a beast and... Uh, Oh well. Uh, well, if he ever comes back home for a visit, I'm sure he'd be happy to show you. Anyhow, what can I get you? Um, yeah, I'm not going to insult the poor woman. We've only got amber ale, I'm afraid. I can't spare the potatoes for hard alcohol. If you'd like something that'll stick to your ribs, I'd flag down Loverick and get yourself a bowl of the house stew. Coming right up, darling. Yep, just food for her. <clears throat> Door to the back room. Food, hey! Campfire. Oh. Can I, there we go, combine with. Got this fish pie dough. Oh, come on. If you can't cook the dough in the fire, what the hell can you do? Uh, forget you. I'll play with that later. Got a lot of stuff here, but we'd be stealing it, I think. Loose plank. Uh, nope, we're not sneaking about. Begging your pardon. The cook acknowledges you with a small bow, an oddly formal gesture given the surroundings. Please, sir, you should not be back here. It's not safe. Sharp knives, boiling liquids, sharp tempers. Mm. Don't underestimate the dangers here. Now, please, I must insist. You should speak to Loverick if you want food. Okay, so... <clears throat> We're going to need to do some sneaking about. There were some things down in there that I didn't uh, have time to go through. Hey, oh, if it ain't the beast, man. Can't believe you found Papa real, Thrash. You smell the ale over all that rotten fish. Get it? <laughs> the unfamiliar dwarf scratches his head nervously, then chuckles again. He doesn't seem sure what to say next. Hey, 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 hey. shh. Keep it low. I don't need magisters crawling up my backside after I just emptied it out. I'll be quiet as a mouse. You bet. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> now go on down. If his emporium's your back for sure. Effie's emporium. Is this where the, uh... Is this where we're supposed to go to find our guy? There's some nefarious business in town. Oops. No. Nope, 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 nope. Not at all what I wanted. There's fine, thank you. Uh oh. What's this? I found something. Great. <clears throat> I 
Hey, if we can do it without going into the pot, into the thing, that'd be great. Potion and a glass. We'll set that to our wares and some gold. Oh, that was weird. My headset just turned off. Suddenly got Look, dead quiet. A fresh face. And a pretty little kisser it is, too. Hello, Effie. Good to meet you, Governor. What's your poison, then? A sip or a smoke? Uh, let's find Take out what she's got to sell. Time, you As you're doing business with you, Governor. Looks like... Food and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it. Oi, so it is, but not just any druid night. Oh no, my own special blend. Special blends of druid night. Downs the arena, see, and the gladiators ah. are always on the lookout for an edge. The arena. Now we're talking. I give them that edge. You could say that my darling herbs flower in the flesh. And blossom in the brain. So, if you're interested, Governor, all you have to do is use your imagination. How can I make you bloom? I wonder if it's a temporary or a permanent thing. Okay. So, what we have here is potentially an arena. My good sir, I see that you accompany no other than His Royal Majesty, the Red Prince. I have a message for him of quite vital importance, if you'd be so kind. He's right here. Of course he'll be so kind. Speak freely, kinsman. Uh, why not? Directions, my lord. I was bid to send you to none other than Bramos the Wanderer. The greatest of all dreamers was waiting for you here, my prince. But, but... He looks around the hazy room with hasted eyes. The House of Shadows stirs. The Honorable Brahma sensed them closing in. He had no choice but to flee from Driftwood. A little ways east he went, in search of safety, to an encampment of paladins. You will find him there, Majesty. Indeed I am. We will follow your directions. You have my thanks, Kinsman. Prince of Princes, I am humbled and grateful. He bows deeply before the Red Prince, as reverently as one would before a god. The House of Shadows stirs an ominous phrase. It's as if I can feel the onset of night. Quite. Yeah. But you must realize that <clears throat> until a short while ago, the very existence of the House of Shadows was a mystery to us. If this thing of darkness steps into the light, it must be desperate. And desperate means dangerous. Who said anything about fear? I hardly know the meaning of the word, but I suppose you do have a point. Yada yada yada. dangerous, we will simply have to be more dangerous. And if they fear, we will prove worthy of their dread. Onward then, let them strike when they may. We shall be ready for them. Doroy, Doro, Dorotia, the decadent one. Hail, darling. Call me Dorotia. Dorotia, excuse me. Let's start with this. She has an intricate ring, armor, the jack strap, which is a belt.
I'll be darned, 30 minutes already. Let's pick up one of those real quick. She draws close. You feel her breath on your neck, hot, moist. Mmm. Oh, yes. I have something that you want. Oh, really? But I only bargain with those I deem deserving. Those who have accomplished great things. So, tell me, are you worthy of my gift? Let's do this. Bra let's be a little braggadocious. Indeed. This is acceptable. You are nearer the one than most self-described heroes I've known. So, tell me, are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? <laughs> is she coming on to me? I can't. Not yet. First. You must look into my ring and tell me what you see there. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Uh, fine. Gaze into the gem, my lovely. Oh boy, I don't like this. She flashes her ring at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its center. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colors and fuzzy images. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... How should I know what it reveals to me? I can't see it. Oak with standing winds. Quill from a swan feather. Chest with runes. Um... Uh, interesting. I'm not sure what to say for this one. I do like dragons. I'm gonna pick a dragon. Mm, yes. I see you clearly now. Mm, it is power you seek. To conjure maelstroms and command the lights to drive away shadow. That doesn't sound so bad. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for one thing in That's return. That's not... Okay. A kiss. Oh dear. Dorothea sighs. A fusion of a kitten's purr and a cockroach's clacking. Ah, <sighs> for me to help you, our souls must touch, and a kiss brings our souls closer. Does it not? It shall fulfill both your desire. And mine. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. Um, <laughs> the last time Beast kissed anybody, he was, uh, he got a mouthful of maggots. <laughs> or whatever it was. Alright, JPEG, no guts, no glory. Make it happen. Most delicious. Oh, this is totally and not a, a setup. An audience is not required. Oh dear, a web of desire. I don't like that. A web. Take a potion. I don't think we need pants. I don't think we do. We have... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna like that. We gotta figure out what it's are about, you? though. Are you? No. You are. She has fire essence, which I don't know what to do with it. I'm not interested in buying it, though. The dreamer pipe. Dwarven patron. <sighs> You're coming down. Let's go as the prince, Sarah Lizard. Watch him fight. Watch him. See that? Right in the kisser. <laughs> Doesn't even 
dozen do. Oh, goodness, you got a lot of things to sell. Resurrection scrolls. Oh boy, those are tempting, but boy, are they expensive. Blank skill books. Bunch of crafting supplies. What do you want? Boss is busy. Beast strokes his beard for a few seconds, buries his hand inside it, and whips it out again to display his extended middle finger. He marches past, finger still raised, to the chagrin of the gawking guard. I gotta use that one sometime. Put my hand inside my beard and whip out my middle finger. Well, pow! The guard shrugs back. Boss can take care of himself. I'd like to see your friend try that with him. Marla. Put you up from girl to woman, Marla. Like you was my own. This. He lifts his right arm, showing a white bandage beneath his ribs. A wet red spot shows through. This ain't the thanks I expected. Who sent you? The formidable dwarf slams his fist on the side table. You hear a loud crack. Enough! Do you know they killed Anna? Do ya? Start talking sense or I'll take that tongue right out of your mouth and fry it for supper. Mm. I think they got this handled. Bart, Cade, get her to talk or bleed her out. She ain't one of mine anymore. His sneer travels from the restrained dwarf to you. And you. You better have a damn good reason for coming here. We aren't gonna keep you around much longer. The battered dwarf pulls her lips back into a garish open mouth grin, flashing blood stained teeth. <laughs> nope. Not you. Working for the DO, I bet. No, you don't, Buck. These don't concern you. Okay. Step off, lest you want a taste. Okay, I think we're going to come back for Lohar here in a minute. Um, since we've already passed our 30-minute mark, uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we should go see about getting robbed by this lady. And, uh, in case I lose something I can't <laughs> live without, I'm going to say, uh... This can't be good. There is a literal spider web over here. So if I'm looking for uh for this gal It's a log. All right, where is she? Where is she? Come alone, she says. Is there a void woken down there? Okay, you're not who I'm looking for. Oh, come on, where's my kiss?
philosophical, boastful. Oh, who are you? Rockus. Where the hell did she go? Oh man. Well, so much for my kiss. This is on the map, what does it say? The kissing spot, okay. So this is the right place. Looks like I'm not getting a kiss right now. I guess we're going to call the episode. Um, pity. JPicoDeath signing off. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye.